Good morning, students of class 10. You are welcome back to the e classes now. Let's continue our lesson in English. We are doing the glimpses of India, that is from the textbook, lesson 7. The glimpses of India, lesson 7. And we are doing the second part, the cork. And so far we have learned about its location, about the people and their descent. And uh, now we will talk about the tourist paradise. Now India has a lot of places, beautiful places that are worth visiting and Korg is one of them. So let's see Korg part 2, tourist paradise. I told you the meaning of paradise. Paradise is a heaven. You can see that. Tourist paradise means it is a place worth visiting. So many tourists, they go there to visit, to see around, I have a look, to understand the people, to know about their culture, tradition and the descent. Many people, they go there to visit for sightseeing also. Many people go there for river rafting. They go there, the tourists go there for rock climbing, that is in Brahmagiri, rock climbing, river rafting, mountain biking, and so on. Many people go there. And uh, we have already learned that the people were very hospitable. So, Korg, now we'll start. Now pay attention and listen carefully. There are all the other seven points. We'll learn one by one. Korg is among the most beautiful regions of India. There are many regions and places worth visiting. Very beautiful places are there in India. And Korg is one of them, as I have told you. So it's a beautiful region of India. Korg is one of the many, among the many, one of the most beautiful region of India, worth visiting. The author rightly calls it a piece of heaven that has drifted from the kingdom of God. So the writer describes Cork as a piece of heaven that has drifted, drifted means floated down on the earth from the kingdom of God. So he rightly describes Cork as a piece of heaven because it's so beautiful. This land of rolling hills, the land of rolling hills we have already talked about. Rolling hills means very beautiful wave-like. Rolling hill is a home of beautiful rainforest. It's a land of rainforest having rich flora and fauna, having rich variety of plants and animals. We live in the city and we do not know much about it. But once you go out in a remote place high up in the mountains or in a, uh, the rainforest or in the green hills or in the uh, areas where a lot of plants and animals and insects and birds and they live, you will be surprised. You won't believe your eyes. Such a beautiful planet we have and we, should, we are very lucky to have uh, this planet as our home. So really, each, ev each and every plant bears flowers, no matter how small they are, they produce flowers, beautiful colorful flowers, wild flowers. So nature is at its best there in those places because they are undisturbed by the human beings. So this land of rolling hill is a home of beautiful rainforest, having rich flora and fauna, flora, varieties of plants flowering plants, trees bearing wild fruits, and all kinds of animals, birds, insects you will find there. Quite interesting to watch those things, to see those things. The Kaveri River, in South India we have a Kaveri River, one of the rivers among the many. The Kaveri River originate or starts, originate from the hills and rainforest of God. The Kaveri River originates in the Brahmagiri Hills, 
there is a hill known as Brahmagiri. It originates there. The Kaveri river originates from the hills, the Brahmagiri hills and rainforest of the Kosh because it rains heavily there. So the region abounds, abounds means plenty of, lot of. The region abounds plenty of wild animals. There are many wild animals. It's a home of wild animals. Abounds in wild elephants and langurs, various type of monkeys. Monkeys are very common. We have seen monkeys. But langurs, we rarely see over here. It lives in the dense forest. They have a very long tail, long arms and long legs. Langurs are quite longer than the ordinary monkeys. They have their long hands and legs are very long. Even their tails are very long. So langurs, it's the, it, it, langurs are, uh, they belong to the family of monkeys. But there are various type of lung, uh, monkeys, various varieties. They have a big family tree. So langurs, a kind of monkey. Besides, you'll find a lot of uh, langurs. Besides, a lot of birds, apart from this, besides means apart, living this, wild elephants, plenty of wild elephants, langurs, apart from that, there are lot of birds, varieties of birds, various species of birds, bees, butterflies, full love. So that's why the writer rightly calls it a piece of heaven. It's worth visiting these places. The Brahmagiri Hills, you see that? Brahmagiri Hills, where River Kaveri originate, start. The Brahmagiri Hills, once the tourist climbs and goes, reaches on top of the Brahmagiri Hills, the tourist can see a panoramic view of the misty hills and the forest and the whole area of the court. The Brahmagiri Hills provide a panoramic view. Panoramic means wide angle. All around provide a panoramic view of the entire, entire means total, whole, misty landscape of God, misty. Do you know what is the meaning of mist? In the winter time, we see mist. A thin, hazy cloud, that is called mist. When it is too thick, then we call it a fog. So, from Brahmagiri, you can have a very good view of the entire landscape of Kaur, the misty landscape of the Kaur, covered with thin mist early in the morning. So, that's why tourists go there to visit, to see the beauty of nature. Tourists can walk across the rope bridge since it is not that much modernized. There is a rope bridge, steel rope, not this ordinary rope. There is a steel rope bridge. Tourists can walk across the steel rope bridge and that bridge will lead you to a 64 acre island. There is an island. All around there is water, river water. And there is an island of Nisar Gandhama. The name of the island is Nisar Gandhama. Why it is called an island? Because the river flows from both sides. On the river branched out and there it formed an island there. And there is a steel rope, there is a rope bridge that crosses one of the branches of the river. And there is a 64 acre island of Nisar Gandhama, a paradise for the tourists. This is the place to go and visit because it is an island surrounded by river on both sides. The river has branched out and surrounded and naturally the wild animals and they hardly cross the river. And it is full of elephants, full of langurs, varieties of birds, bees and all sorts of plants and animals are found there. And it is a paradise for the tourists to see. They can see the real beauty of nature there. So now here, apart from this, there are Buddhist monasteries, 
there are Buddhist monasteries, temples, and most of them are Buddhist. They have followed Buddhism. Many of them, they are converted or they have, maybe uh, the Buddhist must have gone there to settle because it is a quiet and a calm place. They wanted peace. They must have gone there, the Buddhists have must, go, must have gone there and settled there and must have constructed monasteries. The Buddhist monasteries, you can see there, the Buddhist wearing uh, robes and temples, all of them represent all these people, the places, the beauty, represent the heart and soul of India. Because why it is called a heart and soul of India? Because you can see the temples, monasteries, and the people. The Buddhist. That's why it is called heart and soul of India. So, Cork is the heart and soul of India. You can see the India there. All type of. Not only the Korgis are there. Indians are also there. They live there. They have constructed temples. They have constructed monasteries. They stay there in a quiet and a calm place and they, most of the time Buddhists, they pray, monks, they pray, they need a peaceful place. So it is represented as a heart and soul of India. The beauty is there. The Arabic and Greek descent people are also there. Now they are following the Indian traditions. Now it is slowly getting modernized. So it is called a heart and soul of India. So, that's all for today. In our next class, we'll talk about, to be continued in our next class, we'll learn part three. Part two, we are finished. This is the last portion. T from Assam, that is part three, we will learn in our next class. From our next class, we'll talk about uh, T from Assam. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your presence and for your attention. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next class and continue our lesson. Thank you. Christmas. Week.